was like, it's like Amazon special. We got more boxes inside the big. You're taking your you're taking your cardboard home with you. Cool. That's nice. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Corey is here in the garage today. We are going to be installing a new Rugged Ridge bumper and a winch. And I haven't actually installed a bumper on a JL yet, so it's gonna be a bit of a learning experience for me. We're gonna pull that stock bumper off Corey's rig and install his new Rugged Ridge bumper and throw that winch on. Which winch did you get? Uh, Smitty Belts. The Smitty Belt, they... Uh, 10,000 pound uh, synthetic. Rope. Synthetic, yes. And I do like synthetic, guys. I always recommend getting synthetic line with your winches. It's just a lot safer. They do cost more. They do have to be maintained and you do have to inspect it. And I wash mine frequently and usually when I'm washing it, I inspect it. So uh, just something to know about synthetic winch lines, but they also are lighter. So you're not putting as much weight on the front of your Jeep. So, all right, let's get the JL in here. Been a while since we had a Jeep in the garage and uh, yeah, we're gonna close the door cause it's a little bit chilly. It's kind of windy out. All right, so Corey has the plastic bumper and I don't, I don't think there's any way, even with the worn winch cradle, we can mount a winch on there. No, there's not, unless yeah. you cut a giant hole out of it. This just arrived for me. I did, I did order the worn winch cradle. You do need, even if you order the steel uh, Rubicon bumpers, which I ordered, um, I got the steel bumpers on my JL that's coming. So I did order a new worn winch and I ordered the worn winch cradle so I can mount that up. Cause I want to go with that kind of stock look with the recessed winch inside the factory uh, Rubicon steel bumper. So for Corey, he bought a new bumper and uh, it's one of the new Rugged Ridge bumpers, Arcus. I'll put uh, I'll put a link down in the description if you guys want to check it out. Let's see what we got in here. Hidden hardware in this stuff, take note. Cool. That's nice. Just a nice solid yeah. stamped one piece. So basically we're gonna have the winch plate that's in one of these boxes, probably mount to the frame rails, and then bolt the winch to it, and then we've got a nice lightweight stamped steel uh, bumper cover. We're gonna bolt the winch to the frame so it's super solid. Kind of more of a modern look that fits the JL. So I really like it, this is a good purchase, man. Let's make sure we don't lose these. Oh, the winch crate, all right. This is the part that really matters. Nice packaging, Rugged Ridge. Well done. These are probably the hooks. They're heavy. Probably heavier than that entire stamp bumper. <laughs> that is beefy. That I was is... just going to say the same thing, <laughs> beefy. So this looks like it bolts to the frame as well. I'm guessing that we'll probably have four bolts on each frame rail go through this and the winch plate. These are, these are steel. These are heavy. These are not aluminum or light or anything like that. And you've got holes through it, so if you want to put if you wanna just quickly hook a toe strap on, you've got the hook. And if you wanna put shackles, you can put shackles through these holes here, which is nice and flexible. I really like that. Look at these guys. Monsters. Look like raptor claws. <laughs> <laughs> these are gonna bolt on so that we can reuse these with these on the new bumper. That's cool. I'm guessing these are backer plates for behind the frame rails, right? So that you don't have to hold the nuts. You may not be able to hold the nuts in place. You just put these there and then, Could be. yeah. So you can get this bumper with and without the hoop. Look at that, look at the hoop. A couple bolts right on there. Easy install. I just had a quick look at the instructions. Really isn't much to it. Um, they've got these nice brackets to help with trying to get these bolts, or not these brackets, these brackets. I'm guessing these bolts on the frame rail are a little bit hard to get to, so they have the bolts uh, welded onto this bracket, so you probably just hook this bracket on and put your frame rail bolts through. We're gonna pull the bumper off. Um, I don't think it's too hard of an install. Gonna pull these little uh, plastic pot rivets out. In addition to these two guys, Corey's just popping out these along here, and that's it, right? Easy. Yes, this little guy here, the skid plate made out of plastic. Plastic for the Sport Edition. Ah, is it metal on the Rubicon? Yes. Ah, okay. Yes. Look, look, I'm learning things every day about jails, guys. <laughs> Two eight mil bolts that go along with this lower plastic skid plate. Hey, I need to invest in the tool that removes these things because I think I've had it sitting in my Amazon cart for <laughs> forever, forever. 
like that. Just a bunch of these guys. Some big rocks in you there. Got, you got some souvenirs. There we go. Okay. So it's just okay. So it's just one clip for both fog lights. Yeah. So we're just gonna pull off this. I don't know, whatever we want to call these things. A little brackets, good plate thing. Just moving this piece off. Maybe it's clipped on. So let's go up. There we go. Up and Move. over. And that's going to free up a whole bunch more room. And the benefit of the JL, not too much is rusted on. <laughs> Shouldn't be yet. Maybe if you had a JL for a uh, winter in a climate with salted roads. We just got both of these nuts off of the studs here on both sides you can see that light's kind of in the way right so we got the inside ones and now we got to get the out outers off so we were able to get the impact on these outer studs so makes it a little quicker and with eight nuts removed just like that bumper Nothing to it. Oh yeah, so we basically just took the nuts off the four studs that were on the factory bumper that went through the end caps on the frame. And this is where we're going to be bolting up the winch cradle and those tow hook connections that are gonna go on the front as well. And they're gonna be connected to the frame. And then we've got the stamp steel shell that's gonna go over top and look real nice when we're done. We gotta undo a couple more bolts here. We need to get the fog lights out Wiring on the plastic. Well, the fog lights actually goes underneath here. Ah, uh, okay. So there's a there's some one, two, three, four, and five and six. If you still got these on, and uh, we're just gonna pull these off a seven mil socket real quick. Let's pull this clip off, and we've got the factory fog lights and Torx. Torx. Oh, Torx. Three Torx. It is an itty bitty guy. Uh, T20. Oh. For the fog lights, there's two more on the inside here. Pop these fog lights out. So we've got four 13 mil bolts. One there, one there, one there, one there. Pull that guy right out. Here's the harness that we were trying to get access to because we are reusing these fog lights. There's two little tabs on the side that you press in. And <laughs> get your glow stuck. And there's three tabs, you push them in and and that just popped <laughs> off. I will definitely be breaking that on mine when I pull the fog lights out. <laughs> this is where we're actually gonna start installing the bumper. And it doesn't look like too hard of an install. No, not we're just, really. uh, Yeah, we're just gonna bolt some stuff on and what are we doing? So we just tried mounting the shell and the winch hook and the fog lights up, but we realized that the bottom of the shell covers this outside front winch bolt hole so we're gonna unpack the winch mount it because we need to be able to push bolts up from the bottom and you can't do that once the shell is on so i guess that kind of makes it a little bit harder to steal your winch off the front of the jeep also going to put the fair lead on the bumper first with uh this will just be a whole lot easier to put these bolts in place without having this on we got a 19 mil on the back and an 18 mil on the front. <laughs> Once we get these bolts up and tucked in, we can get our box wrench in and there is a like a enough space for the bolt plus maybe a finger between the shell and yeah. the bolt head. And then we can get in here with a box wrench and we'll tighten these down after just in case we need to align that winch a little bit. So we've got some adjustment here if we need to align it a couple, an inch or so. Got our little brackets here with the nuts welded onto them and they just go on the inside of our frame rail like that and because the tow hooks are really what's needing to be bolted to the frame so the tow hooks go through the shell and then we're going to run these bolts all through them and then we've got these two brackets here they are unique to each side. Make sure we have this brace bar on the top because these tabs are gonna connect to the frame rail. We've got the nuts on here, you can see the nuts. Those are gonna be for the uh, bolts that hold on both the bumper and the tow hooks. We got our fog lights mounted up to these brackets, so we're just gonna slip these in from the back like that. And Corey is gonna feed the bolts through if I have it in the right spot. So we, you can see the bumper, the shell is still moving up and down guys because we haven't 
tightened anything down. We want to have a bit of play to get everything aligned up as we go. And once again, we've got those T55 Torx bolts. So make sure you do have a T55 available. Got our four bolts on each frame rail, just loosely. We're gonna put the, the hoop on now. So there's these little brackets under here that we need to make sure are aligned. All right, we got the hoop bolted on. These bolts, the nuts that go on to the bolt that sticks out of this hoop are a real challenge. They're right underneath here. And I think even, even trying to tape it onto a box wrench was a real challenge. So you kind of gotta get your fingers in there without the not dropping down the side, but eventually we got it and now we have it on. We'll connect the winch power. The connectors are right here. We're just gonna connect the power and run it up behind the headlight up to the battery. Put the winch pack on the Smitty Belt winch, connect to the cables in the back, and we're just running the uh, fog light wire over the, just through the frame rail underneath here. And we're just gonna connect it into the back of the fog light. All we gotta do is run our positive and negative out to the winch, which we'll just route up behind the headlight and in there, and then we'll connect to our synthetic line and spool it up. Out we go. All right, so we just pulled the air box out, just feeding both of these cables through. There's, you'll see if you look down here, there's a gap that goes all the way under the front bumper, up to the front bumper. And unlike the JKs, you don't have to remove the grill to feed this up here. Nice clean little spot, and we'll just go underneath the air box through this space here. Connected our positive, we notched this a little bit and connected our negative. These wires are just gonna sit underneath the airbox. We got power. All right, unplug it and it goes to wireless mode. All right, let's put some winch line on there and get this buttoned up. All right, so we just hooked the tree saver up to a tree at the end of my driveway. Uh, we're just gonna pull it up the driveway and spool this winch line so that we've got some some tension and you know i have a hill on my driveway um, but if you don't you can just put apply some brake pressure while you're spooling in and i want to make sure this first wrap here is nice and tight so we've got a nice tight spool on the first wrap around the barrel no overlaps this is our basically our anchor to the winch lines i put pulling it up the driveway slowly and that's going to keep tension on it and now i'm just going to continue going back and forth i like to do a full crisscross with my winch line because i find that it stops it from getting bound up and doing a reverse spool so i'm going to go right across back and forth not tight wraps after this there it is so it's all wrapped up crisscross pattern so that it doesn't bind on itself as much. Uh, I'd use one of these giant zap straps to just hook it to, give it a little tension so it doesn't bounce and hit anything. And uh, that way you're not hooking it to these tow hooks uh, and you're basically damaging the powder coat that's on them. So just get one of these big fat zip ties. All right guys, what do you guys think of this Rugged Ridge Arcus bumper that we just threw on Corey's Jeep with the Smitty built 10,000 pound winch? I really like the stamped steel look. It's different from a lot of the other cut steel and welded bumpers out there. And I do like these winch hooks that you can quickly throw a toe strap on or you can attach a D-ring to. Leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you think. With that said, thanks so much for watching this week's video, guys. I do upload every week, so make sure you are hitting that subscribe button. We will have the Eco Diesel here towards the end of the month. It is on the way to the dealer right now, and I will see you guys next week in the next video.